ask and you shall receive. Hey there everybody, it's Blue Ink here with a brand new video. And this video is the first of, hopefully many, opinion videos. Not that long ago, I had posted on the community tab of my YouTube channel asking all of you of which video you wanted to see the most. And of the four suggestions I had put on there, my opinion on the new Thomas Wooden Railway was what you guys wanted to see. And so here we are with the brand new Thomas Wooden Railway and at least 11 engines to show off. Well, 10 out of here, one that I will be taken out of the box. It's not an unboxing video, let me point that out. It's just to show you how easy it is to get the engines, or characters I should say, out of the boxes. Before that though, a little history lesson. I'm sure many of you know the story by now, but for those of you who don't, here it is. The Thomas Wooden Railway was originally introduced in 1992 by Learning Curve. And I should know this considering I grew up in that era. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, Learning Curve continued to make the Thomas Wooden Railway until late 2011 when it was announced that Tomy would take over for the Thomas Wooden Railway. They did release a whole bunch of Thomas Wooden Railway toys, but only throughout the year of 2012. In 2013, it was announced that Fisher-Price had taken on the Thomas Wooden Railway. And they released a ton of brand new Thomas Wooden Railway toys with updated new CGI faces, and updates to previous rolling stock or road vehicles. And a few other bits and pieces here and there. The range lasted until mid-2017 when, sadly, it was discontinued in favor of a brand new, cheaper Thomas Wood line. And it was ironically called Thomas and Friends Wood. These toys were... interesting to say the least. It started off with unpainted engines, coaches cut in half, and a whole new track plan. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. The Thomas Wood range was not everybody's cup of tea. And originally, I myself was disheartened by the new Thomas Wood range. But, you know, as the years have gone by, I've grown used to it. Yeah, I'm not going to say attached to it. Um, I've just grown used to it. Yeah. However, the unpainted Thomas Wood models would only last until the end of 2018, when it was announced by Fisher-Price that they were going to go back to the drawing board and use some elements of Thomas Wooden Railway's past to fix their Thomas and Friends wood range. And this is one of those examples. Thomas Wood, now fully painted. This, my friends, is one of those examples. A Dale with Thomas model. Introduced in 2019 among the first batch. And as you all may recall, I did acquire this model at Dale Thomas. The only time I've been able to go to a Dale Thomas event in the last few years. Thanks a lot, COVID. And you too, tornadoes. <clears throat> Sorry. A lot of things have happened in the last few years. But yeah, this was among the first batch. And right away, it was an improvement. But there were still some bits that were... Well, not so grand, like, no dome. And the tender engines were still squashed down. The coaches were still cut in half, and there was still the new track system. Oh yeah, and the engines no longer had 3D coal. It is reminiscent of the classic Thomas Wynn Railway from the 90s, but uh, when you've grown up with the plastic coal for a few years, you kind of want it back. But we didn't get that. Not right away. The next up, we have the later years, that being 2020 and 2021. Sadly, during these years, uh, Thomas Wood didn't receive too many new characters or sets or track packs. In fact, there was far less introduced in Thomas Wood during that time period. Henry, thankfully, was introduced in Thomas Wood but he still suffered the same problems as the previous tender engines, basically being squashed down and having a block for a tender. 
and they were released in sporadic times throughout the course of two years. Henry was introduced in 2020, and I thankfully did acquire him in 2020 during a trip to Sudbury. Yeah, first year of the pandemic, and I acquired Henry during that time period. Whew, lucky me. Edward, Toby, Kenji, and the 2021 Dale with Thomas model were among the last of the Thomas & Friends wood models to be introduced. Then after that, the range was announced to be discontinued. Yeah. And at first, a lot of people, like myself, previously thought, Oh, great. This means the end of the classic wooden toys. Then, to everyone's surprise, photos started popping up on Twitter. And these photos were of some brand new prototype Thomas toys. Now, I'll admit at first, I thought that these toys were fakes because P Percy had a silver smoke box and funnel so immediately I thought oh no way no way no way these things are fake but as the months wore on I started seeing more and more pictures now of course I deluded myself in thinking there's no way no way they're going to introduce Thomas Wooden Railway again there's just no freaking way. Well, come early 2022, I was proven wrong. When it was announced, Thomas Wooden Railway was coming back. And here it is. Thomas Wooden Railway in all of its glory. Out went Thomas Wood. And in its place was a brand new Thomas Wooden Railway system. Featuring the old style track and even reintroducing the clickety clack aspect of it. Yeah, the clickety clack track is back. And all the engines were given upgrades. Away went these short, stumpy tender engines and introducing much longer tender engines. And for many, getting exact wheel arrangements. Yeah, exact wheel arrangements in the case of Edward and James there, <laughs> which was awesome, by the way. And so here we are. This is now August of 2022. And currently there are more Thomas and Friends wooden railway items out there. But for the time being, I only have 11. But hey, 11 is better than none. And now, without further ado, let's get good old Thomas out of his box. This, my friends, is one of the many new boxes introduced for the new Thomas and Friends Wooden Railway. One of the things I always loved about the classic wooden railway was the packaging. The packaging in the 90s and the early 2000s was just beautiful. Always had very nice artwork on it no matter which era it was. And what I loved about them was the fact that they were mini storage areas. So that way you could store your engines, rolling stock, or road vehicles, or in some cases, maybe ocean vehicles, back into the box and keep them safe. However, that was did away or done away with in 20, 2005. <laughs> oh, what am I saying? Man, too much time's gone by. Yeah, around 2005, they introduced the new anti-theft packaging, which did work. It did save a lot of Thomas Wooden Railway products from being stolen. However, the storage area was no longer there. You couldn't reuse those packages, and thus, that was the end of that classic era. Learning curve went along with that, and then later on went to the simple just rip-off from the cardboard style packaging. Tommy went along with that and then Fisher Price went along with that for Thomas Wooden Railway and then again for Thomas Wood. Making it easier for thieves to steal these things. However, when the new Thomas Wooden Railway was announced, they revealed that the Thomas Wooden Railway models were going to be introduced in these kind of style boxes. Which also had a unique feature of being open 
from the side here. Now, looking at it, you might think, hang on, won't it be easy for thieves to steal the models from these style of boxes? Do you think so? But, inside the boxes are these tiny little straps that wrap around the engine and keep it locked in there until someone buys the box and takes it home. So if a thief tries to steal the item in store, they're just going to end up destroying the box. And seeing how it's so time consuming, they will get caught. <laughs> so that's some smart thinking there. <laughs> smart thinking on the company to basically introduce a package like this and giving us an anti-theft proof system to keep the train safe until someone comes along to buy the model. Very smart. Definitely like that. So that's a thumbs up for me. And definitely an improvement over the classic Thomas Wooden Railway packaging from 2005 to 2017. And of course, Thomas Wood's packaging. Which was so easy to just break into. Yeah. Not this one, though. Not this one. Anyway, we'll get Thomas out of the box. And... Close up the box. And like I said, with these style of boxes, you just put them away once you're done. And you got a nice, neat little storage area. And now, my friends, here we are with all 11 pieces that I currently own. And the 11 pieces are Gordon, Edward, who I just acquired last week, James, Rosie, Diesel, Percy, Kevin, Nia, Rebecca, Hero, and of course, the number one himself, Thomas. I love having all these pieces. And I'm glad to say that I was wrong when I said that these, or those original photos were fakes. <laughs> glad you proved me wrong, Fisher Price. Glad you proved me wrong. <laughs> now, Let's have a good look at Thomas here, shall we? As you can tell, the wooden railway now has a new style wheel compared to the previous set of wheels, which has basically been used since 1992. The new wheels I've grown quite used to since this wooden railway range was introduced. It's definitely unique to look at, and yeah, it's just a lot of fun. What I also love about these models is the fact that they've included a lot of details on them. And not just Thomas. In fact, let me bring out good old Edward here. Just because I like Edward. I've been looking at him over the last few days. As you can see, a lot of these engines have been given rivets, handrails, and all the details they need, like domes and tall funnels. <laughs> and for Edward especially, they've given him... Basically like a little door. The doorway would basically be between his cab and the front of his tender. <laughs> very nice. Very, very nice. So again, that's a thumbs up. Now you recall with Thomas Wood, they did away with the plastic coal. Thomas Wooden Railway Revived Range brought back the plastic coal. And for many engines now, they actually have these little Will's Peaks, as some people have called them. Which is always a nice touch. Now let's bring James out for a second, because I want to show you something with James. The fact that some engines come with extra little details, like say the side rods. And Gordon even has his cylinders. And just about everything that he normally has. Just about. And I love the fact, too, that with many of these steam engines, they have this little glow in the cabs. And not just Thomas. Uh, let's have a look at Hero here. See? Got a little glow in the cab. Indicating that, yeah, his fire is going. <laughs> really, really nice. We'll look at the front now with his buffers. Yeah, Thomas Wood did introduce the buffer system, but... They were mostly just red with red dots, or black dots, as in the case of James. But, no, the new wooden railway has a red buffer beam and painted black buffers. 
for James and especially Rosie, they have black dots. But that's all right. Oh, and for Gordon, he has the awful buffers. And if we look at Hero here, yeah, little extra details down there. And Rebecca actually has what I think are lamps down there. Really cool. Really, really cool. Now, what's unique about this new wooden railway range is the facial expressions. As you can see, the face is mostly flat. Well, it looks flat to me anyways. This is normally where the eyeballs go. go. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still not speaking properly. But it's done differently compared to Thomas Wood here, where it's mostly just a 3D face. And what's unique about the new Thomas Wooden Railway is, with each release of Thomas, let's say in different sets, he'll no longer come with that standard smiley face that Thomas Wood was so infamous for. And indeed, the classic Thomas Wooden Railway was famous for. Now, instead, with each and every new rendition, well, almost every rendition as far as I know, the Thomas faces can easily be changed to show different expressions. Like here, Thomas has a bit of a smirky face, and he's looking to his left. Whereas a Thomas in a set, and I know this because I've seen it, I haven't gotten it yet, he has a completely different face compared to what his standard counterpart looks like. And Percy, instead of having the shocked face that he actually has, well, in a set, all by himself, or is that with the sheds? I don't know which one it is. I have to look at it again. <laughs> but I do know that, apart from a few decorations on his side, he comes with a smiling face. So very different from his standard counterpart. Some people are a little put off by some of the expressions, like Rebecca having that kind of face, or Percy being shocked, Edward looking surprised, or Gordon looking worried. But I personally like it, because it just shows different, unique facial expressions, and just shows that... Yes, the company has given us these, but they'll also be introducing more models as time goes on, and hopefully with different facial expressions. This proves that they can, in fact, do that. Which I do, in fact, like. <laughs> so, again, that's a thumbs up for me. Now, let's actually have a look at Percy, who's often been the oddball of the Thomas Wooden Railway range. Look at him. All those details on them, and look at the wheels. For the first time, Percy's wheels are actually very close together, rather than being spread apart, like they have been in previous wooden railway or wood versions. Yeah. So Percy looks more accurate to his TV series counterpart. Diesel here, he looks really, really good. He has more detail on him now than he did in his previous wooden railway counterparts, or even the wood model. And these, by the way, are 3D ladders on him. Really nice. And as mentioned, some engines do have accurate wheel arrangements, like Edward here. Throughout the entire run of the Thomas Wooden Railway lineup, and indeed Thomas Wood, he's just been... An oddity, because he's only had one wheel on one side and one wheel on the other side. Yeah, <clears throat> sorry about that. But no, here he has a proper 440 wheel arrangement for the first time ever. So that's a thumbs up for me. James, he has a 260 wheel arrangement. So again, thumbs up. Seriously. Fisher Price, you're just ticking all the boxes on this one. Awesome. Granted, Gordon and Rebecca don't exactly have the correct wheel arrangements, but that doesn't matter because look at the size of Gordon here. He just looks great. So you can excuse them for not including the extra back wheels. Besides, they make up for it by adding another set of wheels on the back tender. And what's unique, too, about engines like Gordon here is the fact that he has two different size wheels. The small wheels for the front and on the tender, and his big driving wheels. Awesome. Just awesome. 
Hero's wheel arrangement is a little different because he's supposed to be a 2A2, yet they've given him a 460 wheel arrangement. But you know what? You can forgive him for that. Seriously. He just looks so good, and compared to his previous wood counterpart, he definitely looks the part. The only thing I can honestly say about Nia is the fact that they did her right, but I'm still confused as to why they gave her this. It's so tiny, and yeah, it just looks a little weird, but honestly, it's better having that than nothing at all. And at least now, Nia is actually bigger than Thomas. In fact, let me prove it. So, we have Nia here, who is definitely bigger than her previous wood counterpart. And then here's Thomas. Look at that. Now that's accurate to what we saw in the Big World Big Adventures movie and in the TV show. Definitely a huge improvement. And then there's Kevin. Oh boy. Oh, poor Kevin. You always seem to get the short stick of everything, don't you? But then again, he's hard enough to make in wooden railway format, so I think we can forgive them for this one. But it's nice at least to have Kevin. And I do like that facial expression. I heard rumors that there's supposed to be another version of Kevin coming soon, but I haven't seen it officially yet. So they could just be rumors. But then again, I thought wooden railway was just a rumor to begin with. And here I sit. Pretty much proven wrong. So well, yeah, the Thomas Wooden Railway, as it sits right now with just 11 pieces in my collection. I haven't tried the new Clickety Clack Track yet, but I've heard good things about it. And plus, their style of packaging is very similar to these kind of packages. So, easy storage areas and, yeah, just easy to open up and to use. Again and again and again. Very, very good. So, let's recap. We went from the classic Thomas Wooden Railway to Thomas Wood. And then Thomas Wood was completely done away with. And replaced with this. The brand new Thomas Wooden Railway. Honestly, do I think Fisher Price made the right decision to bring back the Thomas Wooden Railway... And, yeah, just basically get rid of Thomas Wood? The answer is a happy yes. Fisher-Price made the right decision. Honestly, I was definitely happy to be proven wrong when I saw those prototype pictures. And I'm just so happy now to have a piece of my childhood just come back in the form of the Thomas Wooden Railway. I, for years, played with Thomas Wooden Railway. Whenever I wasn't playing with the Ordals, it was always Thomas Wooden Railway. And to see it come back and be sold off to a whole new generation of Thomas fans, and even the classic fans like myself, it just brings a happy smile to my face. And I can honestly say that this is one range I am definitely happy to recommend. So if you see Thomas Wooden Railway and you don't have it already, do yourself a favor. Buy it. You won't be disappointed. Now, what else is available from this range, you might be asking? Well, there is Cranky the Crane, Titmiff Sheds, Knapford Station. There's also a set, which does have another Thomas, but with a different face, I should point out. And currently, being sold by themselves is Henry... Toby, Kenji with a pasture coach, and a couple of troublesome trucks. Yes, troublesome trucks. And Emily. And from what I do know, coming soon, some All Engines Go characters are going to be made into this range. I wonder though, are they made to look like what they could have been in the CGI series? Only time will tell for sure. Though, from what I know, uh, it hasn't been made official yet because there's only, you know, the word saying that they're going to come soon. But 
we don't know that yet. <laughs> For the time being, there's all that, plus the brand new 2022 Dale with Thomas model, which I hope to get at some point, but uh, until I can get to a Dale with Thomas event in an area that hasn't been ravaged by a tornado or, you know, hit with COVID, thanks a lot. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Unless that happens, uh, I'll just have to get onto eBay and, you know, try and find them. But, you know, they're not that easy to really acquire. Either way, negativity aside from, you know, things that are out of our control, I have to say that I definitely love Thomas Wooden Railway's revived range. And I will continue to buy this range no matter where it's being sold. Strangely enough, even in my local Walmart, that's how I got Ember here. <laughs> yeah. So yes, definitely a high recommendation for me. And yeah, that's all I can say. Thumbs up from me. And that's going to be it for this video. Until next time, my friends, I'm Blue Ink. Stay safe out there and uh, have fun with your new trains. See you all soon.